All right, everyone, what have we here then? More silent shenanigans, and uh, this time, working designs makes an appearance. Uh, make an appearance? Ah, uh, blue rules. Nothing. Oh, what was this? Sought to destroy the Eldians and their enchanted kingdom. As the Black Dragon began its murderous assault, the three siblings combined their power, dealing the wicked beast a mortal wound that spewed vile blood upon them. Once word spread that the dragon was no more. The people of Forgasta rejoiced in their newfound heroes and reveled in thoughts of eternal peace. However, the revelry was cut short when one of the three claimed Madriker, the foul sword crafted from the very soul of Vlog. Taking the title Immortal Emperor, he set about destroying all that was pure in the land. Though many fought the Black Tide valiantly, all were crushed by the insane power of the Fiend's sword. Soon it was clear that each of the Eldian clan had gained immortality by means of Vlog's blood. Redoria had moved to darkness, while Esten and Cirrus shone brightly in opposition to his advance. The battle of the immortal spanned days, and Redoria's strength was growing with each passing second. When it seemed as if there was no way to stop her power-mad brother, Cirrus quietly called upon the one secret power she had hidden from her brothers and transformed herself into the Holy Sword of Eldians. It was a final, desperate act to counter the vicious and undeniable power of Madriker. Surprised but determined, Eston took the Holy Sword, raised it high, and cast a mighty blow towards Redoria. The resulting blast sent tremors through the land or untold distance. As the bold and curious alike approached the battleground, they found no trace of the Eldian clan. Redoria, Esten, and Cirrus had vanished. Many thought that the tragic legend of Eldian had thus ended. Alas, it had only just begun. So, the game I'm looking at today is... Oh, and there's the title. There you go, I didn't need to say. <laughs> uh, I noticed that the voices seem to be uh, fairly quiet, actually, in the uh, intro. So I bumped the volume a little bit. Huh, looks like it's actually... Uh, uh, hmm. Well, yeah, I was going to say something um, in praise of this, but I forgot what I meant to say anyway, so... Whatever. <laughs> it's looking good so far. Uh, I know absolutely nothing about this game, other than it's supposed to be an RPG, and from the uh, info blurb uh, that I got in the Polymega, it is uh, apparently the third game in a franchise with two uh, tactical RPGs released on the Super Nintendo and this one being uh, more turn-based, so more like Dragon Quest and Persona. Well, let's just press start and see what happens. 
many years have passed since Albert left his heroic mark on history. And the peace that once was is no more. Goblins pillage the land, claiming countless innocent souls. And now, murderous roving bands have set their ruinous sights on the village of Carney. is on fire. We can't stay inside or we'll be burned alive. But if we go outside, the goblins will surely slay us all. I'm sorry, Cirrus. I did not want to use you in this foul battle. But... It's all right, Master. I understand. I would do anything to protect you and your family from harm. Use me as you will. We have to go, now! I'm coming! I'm coming! Look out! Blast! Curse their vile goblin hides! Maria, this way! Follow me! I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, well, that was an opening. Holy shit. Oh, dear me. The child is still alive. And what's that? A sword? It must have belonged to the baby's father. It's a fine weapon. Perhaps Fulting will have a use for it. I have concerns about the uh, extreme reliance there on uh, uh, voice acting rather than text. Come. Look what I found in Carney. For a game of this era, that's uh, uh, that's pretty palsy. Seasons came and went, forty in all. In that time, the child Lyre rescued. Grew to young manhood. Oh, how many games don't start out exactly like this? No. Oh. Okay, <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> I like this game. Okay, well, yeah, now that we can talk about the introduction there. Um, I'm very pleasantly surprised by the animations. Oh. So mom became our dagger.
Um, I have concerns already. Yeah, uh, it's uh, sure. Uh, how how do I equip? Uh, start. Yeah. Okay. Start opens this menu. Good to know. Uh, items. Oof. Oof. That is a nineties cursor. Magic? No. Arms and armor? Oh, now I looked at stats instead. Uh, weapon? Cirrus. Okay. Now I hit five points harder. Armor, no shield, no etc. And system menu? Hmm. Okay, so I was only for cursor. I thought I would be able to save my game there. Sound is stereo. I am perfectly fine with that. That is right and that is proper. So let's vacate the building, shall we? See what this brave new world is all about. Oh. Or let's say hi to our angel adopted mom. Laya. Yeah, I'm sure that was not the introduction to the game. Is a kill of breakfast if I ever saw one. Oh, okay, we can get money. Not from every bookshelf though. You know, this is a really good start for an RPG. Now, I have heard of Working to Size, but I've never actually played their games before. This is my... Well, to my knowledge, this is the first game I've played that they have been involved in. Um, so yeah, I've missed out on uh, Luna and uh, whatever else they've been, uh, well, producing. Uh, sorry? <laughs> but yeah, wow, there's a lot to recommend for this game already. Seriously? No mithril bits in uh, the barrels here? Oh, thank F. Yeah, this game is in Shining Force 2. Okay, uh, am I supposed to know how full 2 looks like? Uh, who are you, by the way? Keep walking. I'm guessing I can't go through there where the guards are. No one's in here. Um, 
Hmm. Okay, uh, hot mom confirmed. Right. Am I seeing things? A Saturn game with creature comforts? Quality of life things? <laughs> what even is this game? How, how, how is this not praised all over the freaking internet already? Or uh, uh, praised all over the internet still, I should say. Okay, well, you guys are absolute shit stains. You guys missed a the. Get good. Well, yeah, these guys are young people, I can tell that miles away, from miles away. I'm gonna go refill my Tico for a second. Oh, okay, wait, we have a cutscene. Stairs again? I guess I'm not here to worship. Uh, I'll just go upstairs again, guys. Don't mind me. <laughs> I mean, getting called out like that by the kid for uh, just coming in here with no permission. <laughs> no invitation, that's um. Yes, 1990s RBG confirmed. Nice music. All right, let's uh, check out the bookshelf. Uh, if I can only get there. Thank you, old man, for not being in the way. Kids around the village don't seem to do that, but um, hey, I appreciate it. So, uh, 
Okay. Oh. My. Oh. <laughs> Let's equip that. Uh, some armor, me, etc. Right? Yeah. Protect ring, defense plus five. No shield or armor, and no change to weapons. Any magic? No. Items. Mint. Restore HP. Calm herb. Heal poisoning. Protect ring. ETC. Hmm. This is a really well designed UI for a Saturn game, I have to say. I am very much impressed. Uh, so, Laya, I. Uh, oh! Well, excuse you. I was looking for the guy. <laughs> okay, well... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Mom, I picked up some mint. Jesus. <laughs> uh, you know, I really do like this game. I do. This has been a very nice start. I haven't really gotten down with, uh, well, you know, fighting yet, of course, obviously. But... I'm pretty sure I will make a Let's Play out of this. Um, there's a little fun fact as uh, these guys talk about how they are going to like, eat things. Um, yeah, sorry, just had to refill my teacup again because my tea was so good. See, while playing Atlantis, I, of course, had that little issue with the puzzle I may have mentioned uh, at some point, uh, where the rendering didn't seem to work as it uh, probably would have on the original console. Oh, we are out of water? Okay, well, what I was going to say is that uh, the Polymega has two modes of starting games. One is uh, well, with save states and graphical enhancements, and one without. What I have done now is start the game, uh, well, without enhancements, without save states and um, all that. Uh, with the caveat that now I have to save the game at the... the Save crystals. Uh, well, maybe I'll start the let's play using uh, the save states and uh, things. That makes it a lot easier to, you know, plan and uh, yeah, end episodes on time. Um, but I'm guessing that's what happened that the, uh, well, having to do with Atlantis, that is, that the uh, improvements um, interfered with the rendering of, well, the uh, puzzle in question. Um, okay, 
Okay, so where do I find water? Oh, okay. Hello? Yes, Mom. I didn't read the manual. <sighs> okay. One of them is... Uh... Cultural, culturally, culturally appropriate for me. One is probably uh, the correct answer instead. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're gonna get a dress and we fuck it. What? mother would say this well one was a dagger obviously but yeah okay well I guess that works out the same either way What do you mean, women pick flowers? And uh, where are we gonna get roses down here again? Okay, combat tutorial. And now this is in Star Ocean 2. Hello, that's a big sprite. you fuck right off. Um, you know, I have a hunch this isn't going to make a difference anyway. <laughs> well, uh, thank you, game, for proving me correct. Okay, GG, game over. <laughs> it's had half an hour. Uh... 
Um, what's the age rating for this again? <laughs> or I just had to check. Huh. ESRB says kids to adults. <laughs> Are you sure about that? So adults, cosmic and comic mischief, mild animated violence. That's what the box says anyway. Yeah, this is all still a cutscene. Mm. Promotion. <laughs> now leave. Get out. Yeah, they don't use translations like this anymore. Oh, look at that. All swanky. 
cape and everything. Nice. Okay, well, maybe you heard, well, I heard that I said uh, I very much wanted to make a Let's Play of this, and, uh, yeah. That's what's gonna happen. I, uh, yeah, I'm so impressed by this that, um, hey, kid, speak to me, please. Oh, okay, that's a photo confidence. <laughs> oh boy. Hi. <laughs> yeah. I think it would make more sense if I described modern translations as being, uh, well, well, for by all means, more accessible and more, uh, well, inclusive, lacking other words. But there is something to say for uh, translations with attitude, <laughs> like this one clearly has. They're good on working designs, really good on them. This is, this has been an absolute joy. I wouldn't say that it has left the impression uh, that uh, Final Fantasy VI did when I first played that, but uh, well, this is very much a uh, rival for Shiny Force 3. Well, if a different style of gameplay, of course, uh, well, apparently. I haven't actually gone into any fighting yet, but I will end the episode here. Yes, I'm calling this episode one already. Um, I think I'll play ahead a little, see if I can get to a fight and uh, just get my feet wet sort of a thing before I actually start the uh, Let's Play. But um, yeah, new Let's Play on the way. Stay tuned everyone. I certainly had a good time doing this, and I hope you will have as good of a time watching all the rest. And myself, of course. Stay tuned. <laughs>